use those, yeah, those extra nice emotes. Those emotes are great, and we're gonna go to Battlefield Game One. Wow, actually, Battlefield, interesting. Yeah, I'm surprised at this pick for sure. This is already difficult enough playing against Zero, but giving him a cloud on Battlefield. I think the reasoning behind this is that Battlefield isn't very wide. Uh, so if you're opting to just go for putting Cloud off stage, which is typically what Diddy Kongs like to do, uh, there's kind of less center stage you can hide in here. But at the same time, it's Cloud Battlefield. Yes, it's Cloud Battlefield, but it is JJ with a Diddy Kong character he has been playing since day one. Very adept at the character, and he does have a lot of Cloud experience, not just from Zero busting out Cloud randomly, but playing against Ned so frequently. Mm -hmm. Two of the most prominent winners, losers, Grand's finals type of people, but Zero there with the crazy two frame spike. Yeah, that's like oh. legitimately only three or so frames to pull that off in. And you have to like time it off of a short hop too. It's not like an instantaneous action. That just requires an insane read to do. Oh, he wants the spike. Oh. Oh, went for another spike. Threatening cross slash, but JJ recovers wiser than that. He's played against Ned many a time. He is not going to get trapped by that. Oh, the banana. Down tilt, down smash. That will take the stock. Yep. Good old Cloud Killer. This is why Diddy Kong is one of Cloud's hardest matchups. Yeah, and that's not even saying much. It's still a very close matchup yeah. in itself. Cloud's very good. Oh, all right. Cloud off stage. What's going to... Okay, never mind. Zero going for the raw up smash and forgetting that this is not Diddy Kong. This is Cloud that he indeed picked. I mean, Cloud can raw up smash too. PGA Golf Tour is a surprisingly safe tool. Tiger Woods Pro Tour, 2004. Mm -hmm. It's in the game. Ooh. Good jab combo there from Zero just to get JJ off stage. Looking for another two frame spike. They're not going to get it this time. But he is sitting there menacingly with limits. JJ is well over 100%. And it's just a scary situation to be in. And yeah, this is one of the biggest improvements we've seen out of Zero's cloud in recent times. Remember when he used to just throw limit out whenever he got it? Oh, that was funny. But now he's learned hey, I don't need to throw it out. I'm going to save it to recover or when I can get a guaranteed kill. And that has made his cloud just that much stronger. Oh. There it is. Runs up, throws out the limit. JJ had a low shield, but not enough shield pressure to break the shield. JJ wisely spot dodging, knowing that his shield needed another second or so to recover. But now he's in a better spot, and this is a very close game. Yeah. Last hit, last stock, effectively. We'll have to get a dash attack. Oh. We'll do it. Cloud utilizing one of his, let's see, one, two, three, I believe, nine kill moves. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, it's one. more than that. Let's see. <laughs> You've got three smash attacks, dash attack, uh, up, up air, up air, back air, dare, neutral back air, back air, four. Mm. I died to neutral air in bracket today. It's definitely yeah, a kill. Yeah, neutral air is a, definitely a kill option. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's eight right there. Forward tilt kills. Uh, up to throw eventually kills. Yeah, I've, I've seen Cloud's kill with that throw just because you can get it so easily. Uh, limit cross slash. Limit up B kills, yeah. finishing touch kills, okay, he's got the blade beam kills. So it's actually 15. I don't Everything kills. Every it's single Cloud. move he has. Welcome to Cloud. The lingering dare knocking JJ back from stage a little bit. Zero off to a fast start this game. <laughs> what, what do you think JJ can do to improve uh, in this set? Just Gimp Cloud. It, it sounds simple, and it's what everyone will say, but... The stock he got in the last game was because he, he hit Cloud out of the recovery. Maybe he can do that a little earlier. That's really all I know. All right, limit fully charged here. Zero awaiting anything that JJ does is potentially a kill option for Zero if he can read it. I'm not sure oh. if... Oh, oh, oh that's cool. that's it. Is it? No. Oh, no, Zero missed it. Zero was going for the spike. He could have just gone all the way down, thrown out the cross slash, just that lingering box of you will have to up B into this eventually. Mm -hmm. Zero opting to try to save Limit. Yeah, probably a good choice in the end. There's the oh, neutral air. he doesn't Almost. have a jump, I don't... <gasps> oh, wow, Zero going for something crazy. Offstage oh. maybe, but catching him with that down smash, and Diddy not falling out of the down smash, which is prone to happen occasionally at certain percentages. Yep. 
but the good old reliable M2K option will work in the end. Okay, this could be his chip. Yep, yeah, there it is. Down smash, and there's that cloud. <laughs> oh, no, he got the limit back. Just game cloud, it's easy. Yeah, except for the part where limit can come at any time. Unrival 20th F. Okay. Uh... Oh, no. I love the rising up air off, off lane. Because if you're not shielding, it's almost guaranteed to hit you from, like, any distance within roll. Yeah, you'll see Ned do that with, like, every character he plays. Because he, he learned with... <gasps> Then with zero. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Zero uh, going for it all there. And he's going to suicide uh, as a result. He's laughing about it over there. Yeah, you can tell this man does not main Cloud, but hey, he's got a mighty fine Cloud. That uh, is for sure. He does not like the matchup all that much, and I have to imagine, as many top players will do, when you have an issue with a character, pick him up, figure out his inner workings, uh -huh. figure out where he's weakest and learn how to punish it. And Zero is doing, in the process of doing that as we speak, except Zero good enough to do that in the grand finals of one of the most stacked weeklies anywhere. Yep, I mean, hey, that's some good practice for your character. You're gonna have to fight somebody who can figure out the weaknesses to learn what the weaknesses are, and JJ Rockets is somebody who can figure them out. Oh, but JJ with the down tilt, but missing oh. the down smash. Zero it wildly was, going high. Yeah, he expected Zero to go straight for ledge, and Zero kind of went around. But this JJ is looking, a yeah. Third re grab there. Ooh. If he had limit, he could have confirmed that into limit upbeat for the kill, which would have been stylish. Back air? <laughs> Not necessarily going to kill. Ooh. Good recovery from Zero. Oh, reads yeah. the up air off ledge and turns it into a shield and up smash out of shield for the stock and the game win. JJ evening this up at a set of piece, or I'm sorry, a game of piece. Yep. Yeah, that, that up B from ledge, it's a powerful option, but if they shield it, then you are in a world of hurts. Because not only can they up smash out of shield like that, but even if you're at low percent, you don't have a jump if you get hit out of that, so... A quick forward air from Diddy Kong can put you in a very, very rough situation. Zero starts out game three, also here on Battlefield with an immediate side B. And just like last game, getting off to a quick start, reading what JJ is going to do out of game initiality, which is a very real part of the game. Mm -hmm. Right when you start, what are you going to do? Are you going to be aggressive or are you going to be passive? JJ opting to be aggressive twice and Zero punishing it both times. Yep. It's like the serve in like net sports. It's like, okay, where are they going to serve it to? It's the first interaction of the game that's the most important because whoever can win the first interaction has the percent advantage and can force the other to approach. JJ making it back on stage, but Cloud now with limit. Zero Ooh. just gets it and throws it out there. That, that banana peel didn't see what was coming. Oh, that's odd. I've never seen Zero fail to pick something up before. He knew it too. Like, he almost ag angrily, it looked like the character was almost upset. Like, wait a minute, I didn't get this. And he grabs it and immediately throws it and hits JJ in the face with it. Mm -hmm. Just to be like, I could pick things up. Ooh. Dash attack, not quite going to kill. Yeah, it was a little stale from earlier. <sighs> now it's really stale. But hey, if you can put him off stage, that gives him time to charge limit. Oh no, one of Cloud's kill options is stale. <laughs> Whatever will he do? <laughs> Zero looking for an in here, waiting for JJ to get up, but unable to read the recovery option. And needing to burn his limit break after getting hit by a banana as an attempted gimp. Mm -hmm. Just to live. Yeah, the reason he got put out there is because he tried to back air, but he landed too quickly and the hitbox didn't come out. That up air, it had the, the red sparks. He flew up fast, but did not die. Yeah, it was pretty fresh too, but I guess not enough rage. Oh, that, that one will kill, however, at a very high percentage for Diddy Kong, dying to that up air of Cloud. French fries, an excellent compliment to the bananas. Yeah, these back airs, not quite as precise as you would expect from somebody like MK Leo. Oh. 
forward smash there, just raw from JJ, and that is going to take the stock. Yep, he baited Zero into trying to come back from ledge while grabbing the banana peel and was spaced precisely enough to go around the option Zero selected, which gave him a free forward smash. Another side B from Zero. He's been making full use of those. That is a great damage getter if you can hit all five hits of the side B. 19%. That's right. 19% is a lot of damage for what is a, the equivalent to one hit. Yeah, that's like a full combo for most characters. You mean for most Pikachus? Huh? What? You what? This is a melee. <laughs> oh, almost gets the angel drop. That would have put JJ in an excellent position in this set, but Zero knows how to avoid it. Oh! Banana into cross slash. That is going to take the stock and the game. Zero takes a two to one lead. And now Zero is one game away from winning the entire tournament. I like the Final Fantasy VII iteration of the victory theme, but there were six that were better beforehand. <laughs> I mean, hey. But hey, that's what he's, he's synonymous for, and Zero. Oh, no. Oh, yes, your favorite character, Mr. Uh... Moniker. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is a good stage for Captain Falcon, I suppose. <laughs> Zero has been busting out the Captain Ooh. Falcon, which, while Moniker, you may not think Falcon's fun. There are a lot of people who believe in the style points of Falcon and playing the character when oh. you want to loosen up. The he he did the other Zenodo Tech Vault thing. He, and he did the gentleman earlier that stock. He has pulled out two of the secret forbidden Diddy Techs to survive. Three more and he summons oh, Exodia, but that spike going to put him straight into the blast zone. Zero looking to put this away quickly with his Captain Falcon down airs. Oh, they are just walking around. Walking is such a great movement option in this game because it's very low commitment. Won't get you anywhere quick, but it will get you where you need to go without putting yourself at a large risk. That's true. Ask any Luigi or Ryu main. They pretty much have to live on the walking. Oh. Interesting. Zero is playing this character like he's playing Melee. That, that is exactly <laughs> what this is. He's, he's naring to dare happen. Oh, he's trying. Yep, even if you grab the banana with an air dodge, Diddy is fast enough to just punish you. Zero throwing out, like, the knee to try to protect himself. Yeah. Strange option. The JT knee. Zero just having his fun. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, the down tilt into up smash. Not quite gonna kill. That was a big boy in this game. Yeah, and on Battlefield, the blast zones are very large. Oh, oh he yeah. reads the air dodge and gets the spike. A pair of Falcon dares. Zero certainly showed JJ his moves as TSM Zero takes it here at Ignition, I believe, number 91? I think it's 91. It's either that or 90. In first place, TSM Zero, JJ Rockets taking second after edging out Panda Bear, making mm -hmm. the run in third place, beating out E2C Tyroid. Big yeah. upset there for Panda Bear, knocking Tyroid down <laughs> and out in, set. in fourth place. So that will pretty much do it for us tonight at Ignition. It has been a good one, a big one, 96 players in bracket again. And real quick before we go, we want to remind you one last time about Showdown coming up mm -hmm. in September 23rd and 24th. Showdown Battle Royale 2 up in Farmington Hills, Michigan. You can sign up at the link there. Registration at the bottom, smash.gg slash SBR2. And do not forget to book your hotels in advance for those of you who are planning on attending. They will go quickly. It's at the Radisson. Great hotel. Only $99 a night. Grab some of your friends. Be sure to carpool out to Michigan. 